Let me give you a quick overview of our latest live stream, which is getting started with configuration management in Drupal CMS. Now, I understand this topic isn't the most popular topic, but it's important to understand if you are going to manage a Drupal site or a Drupal CMS site. So we start things off by discussing what configuration is in a Drupal site and also how you can manage it. So if you go to configuration and then configuration synchronization, and from the first page, you can see what's been changed. So if you click on view differences, you can see what config has been changed. You can manually import and export your content, but this isn't the best workflow. The other way and the most recommended way of managing your config is to use Drush. So you first wanna make sure that you are exporting out your config and you can adjust it by changing the config sync directory settings. And you can see here that I've changed it so it's outside of the doc root. And then here on the left-hand side, you can see all the config that has been exported out. And then you can see here, one config has been changed. Then we took a look at a few important Drush commands such as config export, config import, and a few of my favorites, such as config set and config get. Those commands are great if you need to just turn things off from the command line. Then we took a look at using simple block module. Now, this module is great for when you wanna export your block content into code, because by default, if you use the block content module, the placement of the block in a specific region is exported out as code, but the block itself is still content. So that doesn't get exported out. And you do get a message if you try and deploy your config without creating the actual block content first. But by using simple block, you can export your block content in code. And then we take a look at config ignore. Now this module is great for ignoring specific config especially when you're working with web forms. So it's a great way of having some web forms which can be modified in production and every time you deploy that they don't get overridden or you may want one specific web form that is controlled by config. So if you wanna learn all of this, then check out our latest live stream, which is getting started with configuration management in Drupal CMS. And as usual, I have added in the chapter markers and also the links to the mentioned module. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment.